Hey Internet, hey YouTube, this is Nate. You can also call me Nathan, please never call me Nathaniel. And uh, welcome back to Monster Train, the last divinity. Um, so we got a good and a bad run last time. Uh, but we are back to one win streak again. And we're going to continue on our random random Covenant 25 journey here. See if we can't scratch out another clean run. Let's see what we start with. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh, Echo right. And we have... <laughs> we have a potential for all the shards in the world with these bounding echoes. Uh, if we happen to get repeater. Which is pretty good against diligence. Um, means we can like guarantee we get the same card back. What I would probably do is yeet one of the bounding echoes and uh, maybe get a second consume card that's really strong uh, and then the idea would be to just play those two consume cards every turn maybe we get something like oh I don't know an inspire based deck roll in here but anyway that's all conjecture let's see what we have for bosses we have Daedalus with uh, damage shield on explosives shouldn't be too bad to take care of that with the uh, echo breaks um, we have garbage fell and then we have garbage serif uh, or serif the diligent. So we got to worry about um, taking too expensive of units, or else we just basically guarantee we take damage at the beginning of the fell fight. Lost luggage is very good. We'll definitely take that over most other relics. In fact, um, yeah, I think we can go repeater. At least one rank, maybe multiple ranks. And given this setup, let me think. Power of Knowledge is only going to do 15 damage, which is not great. Uh, Echo Rite will do a lot of damage, but we don't really have very good scaling. So we're going to put Echo Rite, a Train Steward. That's going to be basically 50 damage. So we're going to have to get a lot of damage through other effects. <laughs> which makes me think the boon is kind of scary here. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna we're just going to do the fight. Too scaly. This should be fine though. I think we can burst through most um, most enemies with uh, the echo breaks we're gonna get. So we're gonna do echo right up top. Uh, play echo break. And then I think we go, we want one of you up here. And then I think we can go... That's interesting. This is four to both. But like you don't really matter in terms of damage here. I think we just go one, two, play this for a third for now. Okay, another Bounding Echoes comes back. And we want to scale up damage here, I think. Well, actually here. And then we go one, two. And we're going to take... Okay, so we can go this. Now it's doing 30 damage. That's a lot better. We can kill this guy. But that would mean we have to deal with this discipled foot soldier. Uh, I mean, there's a chance... Just thinking. There's a chance we can kill this disciple foot soldier anyway with these two echo breaks. If we vent on the top, that means the echo breaks will be worth uh, three and four damage. So if we can do an echo break here, and then power of knowledge here, and then vents, that should be enough. Like that. Okay, so Echo Break here. But I actually kind of like this guy dying. Maybe we just hit the boss. Because then we can get a second train steward up here. Um, let's get you down. Let's just get this guy down to. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So we're going to take 7 damage to the fire. And again, the main problem... Do we have a train steward at the end? Like, this is 30 damage right now. Maybe we take the 3. Yeah, let's do this. Let's take the 3 damage, because it's very important we hit as hard as we can right now. Um, we are going to take... We're going to take damage here. Five, five, yeah, we're going to take... Uh, it's going to take a lot. Are we dead? He's going to have 83. Five hits. We're going to have five HP left. Wow. Brutal, 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 brutal. The trial didn't really make a difference there. Um, Echo Snare is not a great one. I think Force Contamination, given how much... Um, ooh, Fortify is also quite good. Given how much... Uh, see, First of Kin, we're going to etch a lot. Uh, we'll take the First of Kin. We'll probably put it onto something else. Have we actually cleared? We have cleared First of Kin. Uh, we're going to put it on something else. Probably whatever this unit is. And I assume we have a palace here. Yeah. Uh, just because um, First of Kin is so thick, and a three cost unit is very scary going into Garbage Fell. So then, I mean, I like Et Horn Warrior. Horn Warrior with uh, Etch. It seems really strong. Do we take Quick? Currently, we have no way to deal with damage, is the problem. But let's take quick. And then... We can take this artifact, I think. Extra upgrade slot. So then, I will take the health as well. Unless we're planning to just armor up. That's another thought, is we could just, like, get armor and scale up armor. Let's, let's be patient here. Let's be patient. And, uh... Save our money for now. Spikes is fine. We're going to play the Etch to win, not the uh, the Horned Warrior right now. So the Horned Warrior will just get a couple kills, but ultimately, yeah, we want to play... So we play Echo Right, First of Kin, Etch, Grant Armor, and that's how we start. Okay, so we can Vent. We can Echo Break and then Vent to clear. Actually, I think we go Train Steward. Echo Break. Oh, crap. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, I made a huge mistake. I needed to vent up there. Hold on. I'm going to redo that turn. So we played exactly the same. We play... You... And you. Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, come on, Nate. Come on, Nate. Use your brain. Um, so, you start off. Oh, wait, no, we did want to. Uh... Yeah, we should do it like this. First of kin, echo. Yeah, yeah, that's the play. That's the play. Okay, then. Bounding echoes. Uh, train Steward, Vent. Okay. Bounty Echoes. One, two, three. Um, we could get Melee Weakness onto the High Priest, which seems pretty good. Although we do lose some damage, I think... Uh, being able to get the melee weakness out is really strong. So we're just going to go torch, torch, vent, melee weakness. And... Okay, we're going to lose the melee weakness. <laughs> uh, I guess this guy will do quite a bit of damage though, which is not bad. Cool. 
I mean, 80 damage immediately, and then we're going to be able to get another consume out. Oh, also, force contamination kills in one hit. And we can do that, and we do that. Bop! 220 damage. Nice. Okay, so, uh, second fight went a lot. Ooh, shelter. Yeah, that's fantastic. So I think we go shelter... Shelter and bounding echoes, and we can remove one of the bounding echoes. Uh, in terms of imps... Let me think. I don't hate... Is it Rage or is it Welder Helper? I think it's the armor. I think it's the armor. And this justifies putting... Um, Horned Warrior up front. And what we do is... Uh, I think we're going to take left path here. Just get the Relic. I don't really want to dupe anything. Fantastic. Wing Steel is great. We merge first of kin onto the Horned Warrior. And basically we go for like all the armor. Let's intrinsic. Bounty Echoes. And I like, I also really like um, Spell Chain on Shelter. It's not great now. But once we get a minus one on it, it's going to be really, really, really strong. Wingmaker. Um, you know what? I'm not going to. This is interesting, though. This makes Imp play much better. And we could get something like a Steelworker now. And I don't mind just the getting plus ten. Like, it's... It's good. Although now we kind of... Maybe we should have considered... Taking the uh, other dude first. Anyway, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's done. It's over. So let's just continue. Let's play um, Echo Right, Horn Warrior, the Echoes, Welder Helper, and play you. Uh, actually, we can torch this guy. Okay. This, this. Um, we're killing it because we're quick. Vent. All seems good. This, this, this. And that's amazing. So we love it when we get. Uh, I mean, we're just crushing here. Uh, this is going to be a scary floor, but let's let's clear. You know, what, let's just do as much damage to this guy as possible. We can get him low enough. There's a chance we can just kill him outright. I mean, double shelters is going to be sick. So we go fortify, shelter, shelter. And we're going to take two damage to the fire. That's not bad. And we get the shelter back. Oh, you love to see that. So we can go one, two, and then force contamination on nobody. I guess this guy <laughs> doesn't really matter. Oh my gosh, just getting these shelters back over and over again is insane. Look at all that armor. That's sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's going to be so good when it's minus one and we only have one Bounty Echoes. That's going to be incredibly strong every single time. Not to mention it's going to increase his damage. Yeah, that's going to be way solid. I think this is a really strong deck. And we can get a second Horned Warrior as well. And then it just gets insane. We, I think we just give him maybe a little bit of health, so he doesn't just die immediately. Uh, Dark Deals also seems okay. Apex Imp, huh? We can fit him. Like, we could fit him and then put the Welder Helper onto him. So that when we play him, he's also giving armor to the entire floor. 
and himself. I actually really like that. Like, that seems that seems totally fine. And then we just stack insane amounts of armor. Like, I, this deck list, this deck seems freaking awesome. Okay. We just need something to merge with it. I think a Wormkin banner could be really powerful. Alright, let's see what we get. Oh, actually, no. We already know what we're going to merge with him. What am I talking about? We're going to merge the Imp. Well, their helper onto him. So now he has summon. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. Uh, we should remove now. Hold on. I don't think we need rage. I also don't love large stone. I mean, we, I guess we could put this back on. And then increase capacity as our second upgrade. The problem is now Apex Imp. I guess this is fine. We save Apex Imp for later. He's going to do his own thing for now. And then later on, we can uh, stack him up. So let's give him quick as well. And then we'll just try to go for multi-strikes. We do need to remove this Bounding Echoes. And we're good. We're going to go repeater two. Yeah, this is going to be really solid. Really, really solid. 50% chance that we get the card we want every time. This is fine. We could even potentially play on the bottom floor if we start with the Horned Warrior. We do not. Um, you do 75 damage though. You know what I like is, let's go, yeah, yeah, yeah let's go like this. Let's go you, you, you. So you're gonna kill the frontliner. He should be strong enough to kill this guy easily. Um, put a train steward with him. And then we can even dark deal him if we want, but I think we don't. I think we just play it like this. Okay. Now we're going to get the Horned Warrior. And we can pop this out. Kill you with the Apex Imp. Excellent. And then we just keep it rolling. One, two, three. Okay, this is mildly problematic. One is gonna die. How do we kill the other one? Uh. Ah, okay. Torch, torch. Power of Knowledge. Oh, we can't do Torch Torch Power of Knowledge. We can Torch Torch Melee Weakness. Melee Weakness would be four times the damage. Um, so, okay. So we go one shelter here. One shelter here. And then just put melee weakness on you. And a train steward kills him. So we go... Bounding Echoes. Train steward, fortify. Oh, actually, I'm totally wrong. I thought... I thought. Um, it's fine. It's fine. Train steward... And then Sadness. He doesn't have the melee weakness anymore. That's what I had forgotten. But we're, we're crushing on the bottom floor, I think. So we Dark Deal. Then we Shelter. And we're actually not crushing it here. This is a problem. Uh, we're going to take another 14... Uh, more than 14 damage. Um... It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I think there was a much better play here, but it is what it is. Our man here should be killing it. Yeah. That helps. Bop. Okay. 
So, not ideal, but uh, that should be the hardest it gets throughout the rest of this fight. Um, skip. We don't need a second force contamination. Ah, Marcher Shield is great though. We'll absolutely take that. So now we gotta go spells. We have no spells. Okay, well, fair enough. Let's go right path. We can yeet two stewards. And what would we want to dupe here? Dark deal? Uh, maybe just the fortify or... Uh... Let me think. Yeah, I think just fortify. It's fine. It's easy to play. We're gonna go spells. Or maybe, yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta go spells, like we have to. We have to get minus one on the uh, shelter and then it becomes so much stronger. Uh, Multi-strike. So now this one's a little scary. We do have a lot of like, we can like vent and stuff like that. Um, survivability is not so tough with the Sower of Star. I think this is actually okay. What we'll do is uh, Apex Imp is probably gonna die at a certain point. Unless we get really lucky with like vents and stuff. Okay, so we're gonna play. Yeah, we can't we can't risk going top floor. So um, we go. You and you. Bounding echoes. Fortify. Dark deal. And. One. Two. Three. Okay, Apex Imp is coming out. Um. Can we kill this guy? I think the answer is probably not. Can we kill this guy? Also not. Uh, are you gonna die? You are gonna get a lot of armor. You're gonna kill this guy. We might be okay here. I mean, this guy's gonna die to the quick here. Uh, I would like to try to kill this man off though. Oh, there's a fortify. That helps a bit. Okay. So banning echoes. Into... I think we just have to accept this guy's gonna die. Like, we could try to keep him alive. But it's it's probably not gonna happen. So let's just go... March of Shields. No, just Shelter, Shelter. I think. And then just vent places to remove or to add charged echoes. Okay. Now we actually need to decide. Oh, this is fine. We're taking 15 damage. Oh yeah, because we did so much down here. Now this is where, like, I think we I think we need to like start hedging a bit here. This guy's very scary. Let's kill you. Shelter and also kill you. Okay, there's another shelter. We can go one, one, two, shelter, force contamination kills him. Excellent. Okay. And now I think we're totally fine. Oof, we're actually almost even killing the guy. So force contamination would be sick. If we don't get it, it's fine. Yeah, we're crushing. Cool. But that was, uh, that was... Uh, very tactical. We had to, 
We had to play around a lot of stuff. This is fine. I mean, it it just gives us an extra armor on every on everybody from the Apex Imp once we get to actually play it. Um, skip. And I mean, battering ram is not terrible, but I think we have a we have too many spells right now. And I really think it's it's gotta go. We gotta go spells here, like spells and spells. I think. Oh man, but we could get a removal Ugh, with fell with fell. We have to go spells. We have to go spells because we need to make shelter minus one. It's incredibly important to this build that shelter is free. Uh, remove consume. I don't think we want that. Let's re-roll. So minus one holdover on March of Shields is also very, very good. That's going to be incredibly strong later on when the Apex Imp is our tank. But it's still quite good even now. Uh, plus 10 onto events seems okay. And I think now we're there. Let me see what we get out of this. Um, spell chain. I think not. I think we're okay here. There's the piercing. I. Well, let me think about this. What what else are we going to do? In terms of just like increasing the strength of this deck, we're gonna increase. We're gonna upgrade welder helper. That's gonna be a thing. So we're gonna go left path here. Upgrade the welder helper, or yeah, maybe right path here. I don't know. I think we can take... Well, hold on. Is there another artifact? There's not. It's just Divine Temples. Let's just take a Piercing. Like, Piercing Vent is just really strong. We're at 100. We're fine. Um, now the Shelter is playable at zero, which is really good. And we have to play bottom floor. This is mandatory. And I think we have enough here, especially because we have the Vent. So we go... Horn Warrior, Bounding Echoes, Penance, Echo Right, uh, Dark Deal, Force Contamination, Vent, Vent. Really solid start. Okay. Play this here. Fortify, Apex M is just doing insane amounts of damage. Block with a trained steward as well. And just kill this guy. Already looking very solid. We're gonna get garbage now. This is a, this is a fact of our lives. But you know, that's fine. Uh, we can torch the backliner. Seems very good. We can give you some more armor and smack smack and smack. Okay. Finally, we get the shelter. For lots of armor here. Uh, I don't really want to play this guy up top. Let's just torch you. So Apex Imp will probably kill this guy. We just need to get any source of damage and he dies. Okay. So Bounding Echoes here. Move you to the front. The lightest bit of damage will kill him. Let's play this. We have the piercing vent. Question is, where do we play it? I think we play it here. Yeah, yeah, just get the kill. Okay. And... This is 30. Let's just kill you. Hit you, vent. We do take a little bit of damage, but at the same time, this is going still pretty well. 105. I think, I think we're still all in on this guy. But man, like building you up could be really strong as well. Just to, oh man. Um. I kind of feel like building up the Apex Imp. But let's let's go let's go for this. I mean we can always build up Apex Imp for one turn after. Oh 
How we do it? Okay, well, it's not looking great, but we haven't done all this yet. And we can go one, two, three, shelter, shelter, vent, pierce. We might be in trouble. I guess we should have moved uh, Echo right up front. Okay, let's try this fight one more time. And I think all we do is change... Um... I'm trying to think what we can change here. We could put Echo right up front, but I don't think that's necessarily very good. I wonder if we can get a Force Contamination out on this guy early. Seems like it would be tough. This is, this would be one. I think we build up Apex Imp. I think that's how we do it. Like this guy clears the bottom floor and we just build up Apex Imp to be insane. He would get insane. Uh, dark deal. Shelter. Shelter. I mean, look at him. The man's a beast. And we just don't play this train story. Okay, so we play this. Crushing here. Keep playing that. Uh, play this here as well. And I think if we just force contamination, we kill both of them. Again, would love to get force contamination onto Fell, but you know how it is. Um, okay. So we're gonna play this on you. Like this and I mean he's doing a lot he's doing a lot we could always put the train steward up front as well uh, to get more hits at the end yeah it's unfortunate we can't save this guy but it's fine like he served his purpose and now we just uh, finish it off. Okay. Shelter, fantastic. I think with all this, we're fine. We can even force contamination so that when we do hit him with Apex Imp, it's gonna be like insanely strong. Power of Knowledge, Shelter, Shelter, and look at that. This guy's a beast. And then we'll be able to increase capacity and fit everybody. Oh my gosh, we're killing him in one hit? <laughs> yeah, that was definitely the play. I should have pivoted uh, earlier. 1680, wow.
crazy. Uh, One Horn's Tome. It's not currently playable, is the only issue. Um, Last Stand is play. I just think it's. I think we're fine. I think we're good as is. We take capacity. We have enough draw. And we just roll like this. Let's get uh, unit upgrades for our Apex Imp. Um, definitely want Mark of an Exile. We do not want wing clippings here at all. We already have Quick. I don't think we want extra HP. Uh, I mean, obviously it's multi-strike. Endless is not what we want either. Um, yeah, well, we'll take extra damage and then we'll take... Um, We'll go this path. We don't need to dupe him anyway. There's another piercing. I think we're good though with spells or with upgrades in general. Uh, yeah. Okay. We now have more spell upgrades that we can't use. Unless we decide that we just accept where we're at here. Maybe we just accept this and then we can go spell upgrades. Spend money to remove. Well, we're going to be able to remove here. Yeah, yeah, we do it like this. Now we can do repeater three. This seems good. This seems really good. So now we can put all the units up. This is fine. Three of our units are quick. We don't have the multi-strike on the Apex Imp. That's the, a, a shame, but otherwise we're really solid here. Okay, so we go... Horned Warrior, Bounding Echoes. Apex Imp is our tank. Echo Right. Oh, I didn't play Echo Right. Ah, that's fine. It's fine. Shelter. Vent. Vent here. Okay. There we go. And we want to get down to... Oh my gosh. Crazy. Wow, we're still not actually killing this guy, huh? He's gonna do 10 damage to us. Is there any way? There's no way to do it. Crazy. Um. That's a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem is going to be how we're gonna deal with, uh, how we're gonna deal with Divinity. We only scale so hard here. Okay. Thinning out the deck will help. And we do gain you know, plus 10, plus 10 every time, plus the rage. So there, I mean, there's there's ways. I would like this guy to die. We're probably fine. I think we're doing enough damage on the Apex Imp now that it's, we're just crushing, but. Um, would love to be able to play. Oh, uh, we can, so we go. Power of Knowledge, Vent, Force Contamination. We're going to kill the boss in the first hit. Especially because we can Force Contamination a second time. <laughs> Maybe we get something here that just makes it work, or work but anyway. Yeah. 4,000 damage. Uh, I mean, there's always the chance that we just kill Divinity, but I think that's unlikely. Soul Crushing Guilt seems pretty good. Uh, 
yeah i mean it's a way to deal with a unit in a way that doesn't really deal with the unit but it's fine imp in a box i don't really want because i don't want to get a whole bunch of imps we can't fit them anywhere um also don't think we take in flame Okay, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Uh, the other option is that we get a second Apex Imp. I think that doesn't really work, though. Start with the Train Stewards. We know we're going to get rid of them. We'll probably get rid of more things as well. Let's see what we have out of the Trinket Shop. Mind Horde does not really matter. Trader's Quill! That's 60 damage every turn. It's not bad. Uh... Uh, sure, it's a little bit of damage. And... Yeah, Carving Kreska. Or not Carving Kreska, sorry. As I'm taking the other one, it's a uh, Rail Hammer. Double stack. On... Force Contamination. Or on Soul Crushing Guilt. Armor's fine. We are, we're getting plenty of armor. I think it's on Soul Crushing Guilt. Six days allows us to send almost anything to the pyre, and it's probably going to die to the pyre. Make it zero cost. And that's... We're going to add 10 to event. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do. I would maybe do uh, minus one in purge. Yeah. On just a torch, I think. Thin out the deck slightly. And what do we want to dupe? It might be Soul Crushing Guilt. Yeah, Soul Crushing Guilt. Okay, let's see how it goes. Uh, scary times. We do have four strikes, and they're all all four strikes are pretty big strikes, which is good. Okay. Can we kill you immediately? I think the answer is yes. And we're not dying either because we can Soul Crushing Guilt at the end. Okay, so we play you. Bounty Echoes. Echo right, so now you're dying. We can March of Shields, Fortify. We're gonna be able to vent as well. Uh, Soul Crushing would be so good on this guy right now. But it's not feasible. So we just go one, two, Bent. Soul Crushing Guild. Okay. Now it's time for the big boy to come out. I could have played Abounding Echoes first if I was intelligent, but you know, you know how it is. Um, fortify. Shelter. Shelter. Or. We just killed this guy. Yeah, we do that. We get a shelter in later. This clears the floor. That is a lot of trash. Um, play this. Play this. Okay. And that's it. We have to play something to kill that guy up top, or both of these guys up top. A vent. We'll just vent at the end. Perfect. Bounding Echoes. March of Shields. Shelter. Shelter. These guys are fine. I think we do... Um, torch, Vent, Soul Crushing Guild. Torch. Torch. Vent. Soul Crushing Guild. Okay. So now, no matter who hits that, who hits Seraph, they're going to hit for a whole freaking lot. We can Soul Crushing Guilt again. Also, I'm mixing up my uh, spells here. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, actually, I uh, need to play that differently. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's good. Uh, it's going to be one, two, three, vent, Soul Crushing Guilt. So our man Seraph here has no time to attack. Okay. 
Uh-huh. Oh, crap. We'll take 15 damage because of our folly. Hopefully the 15 damage doesn't come back to haunt us. Alright, so we go March of Shields, Bounty Echoes, Shelter, Shelter, um, the problem is the Force Contamination is going to hit with the Horned Warrior, but it's fine. It's still good. And... Echo Break. Done. Still 500 damage. Okay, so, I mean, that worked out really well. That worked out really well. Now it's a question of, does it work out really well in a Divinity Fight? And I think it does, but it's, uh... It's a little, it's a little bit more sketch here. We're gonna play Top Floor. Which means we're gonna have a little bit of Ember Drain for a while, but that's fine. So play you. Play this. Play this. March. Soul Crushing Guilt. And I'm gonna like tippy tap down here to reduce the damage shields ahead of time. Okay, Banning Echoes. Apex in. And we just start stacking them up. Double vent is great. I'm just trying to decide if it makes sense to vent down here. Get rid of their spell. Their spell shield. I mean, sustain wise, we're going to be fine. Just thinking. We take six. <sighs> I got something in the back of my throat. Hold on. Maybe I got it. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, like a hair or something in my throat. Um, It'd be really good to kill the Shade Wing, is what I'm thinking. Maybe we just daze it, though. Okay, so we play you. Actually, I guess we would have been totally fine. Ah, uh, that's fine. I kind of think we need to play this on you. We can't currently though, because of the... We'd have to... Hold on. If we go like this... Then if we do Tippy Tap, Force Contamination... I think we get there. Yeah, we only take damage from the Eclipse Shaman, which is great. Let's play this. This. Shelter. Uh, I would like to kill... Some stuff here. There's a chance we get the vent. Force contamination is also insanely good on this guy. And then I'm just thinking like... Soul crushing guilt onto... Divinity. I think we do... Uh, get rid of your spell shield. Hit you. And then shelter. Okay. Okay. 
And the nice thing is, is that we can um, Bounty Echoes to kill the front unit. And then, is there any way for us to kill this guy with fewer hits? If we shelter, it goes to 92 by 2. I think there's not. Um, if we had moved him up front... We might be in trouble here. If we move you up front, that doesn't help either. Moving Horned Warrior up front also doesn't do anything. Yeah, this was my concern. This was my concern. Because he just kills us. He kills the Pyre. I don't know if there's any way we can do this. I guess we put Force Contamination onto the Clipped Guardian instead. And that would maybe work. Yeah, even if we like double torch this guy, it's not going to be enough. He needs to get way lower. Okay, so let's try it again. And this time we put melee weakness on uh, one of or the the first big guy. Or we, oh, we should have dazed one of them. That's another thing we could do, is we could daze. Yeah, I gotta think about that as well. And then again, tippy taps. One, two. Okay, and before we played a spell, we played the vent. I think I'm gonna play the vent differently this time. So start with this. Play you. Oh, that's fine. Play the piercing one. But I think we can play the piercing one after. Let's play this. Then play this. So this is happening. This is happening. Um, you're going to kill him. You're currently not going to kill him. We are going to shelter once. Let's make sure we're playing it at the right time, though. Shelter now. And then shelter again. And now the question is, do we need force contamination on you? Seventy-six, seventy-six. We're gonna get more damage. Yeah, I think we do. Also, we can't even really play it down here. But we can daze somebody different this time. We don't have to daze Divinity. It's like we can Soul Crushing Guilt one of them instead. So let's play you. You. Shelter. Shelter. And now... Torch, torch. Yeah, so torch. Torch. And we contaminate you. So the first hit kills you, and then you do 84, and then 100. Except that this guy is going to give them a little bit of armor. But it's still going to kill you. You're going to be almost dead. You're going to be almost dead. We'll take probably one pyre hit, is my guess. So force contamination. And then if we soul crushing guilt you, we don't get garbage from you. Which is pretty good as well. I think damage-wise we're fine, because we'll just march of shields the this guy to the front if we have to. Maybe we even do that now. Just to be absolutely certain that it's going to play out that way. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that this is this is uh, totally fine here. 
We take 11 plus 6, or 16 plus 6, 22 damage. We're going to do... It's just a matter of if we can do 10 damage. If we can do 10 damage to the Disciple Protector here... So this would be 4. If we can do another 6 damage, we can play it up top and not have to play March of Shields on it. But honestly, just play March of Shields. Like, why risk it? There's, there's the damage we needed, by the way. Um, shelter. We can actually kill the backliner here. And to shelter again. So we're going to take 11 damage. No, uh, 12 damage. Should just be killing this guy. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And that's before we've actually done all of this armor stuff as well. Uh, we can also vent this bottom floor, which is really sick. This is a little scary. This is a little scary. We might have to Soul Crushing Guilt just the backliner. So we go Shelter. Shelter. I think it's Torch. And it's very close. Maybe we Soul Crushing Guilt you instead. He kills both, you hit, yeah, 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 that's right. So we go Torch, Soul Crushing Guilt, and then we go Piercing, and hit you as well, to try to get charged echoes up. Okay, that was really good, that was really good. So this should be perfect, you're going to end up with, whatever, five days. Absolutely fine. We don't care about taking damage at this point. We have so much armor that we're set for the entire fight. This guy's already going to die because of the rage. Uh, where do we want to vent, though? This is another scary floor. The front unit is already doing a lot of damage. Um... We have to be able to kill the front unit with the Apex Imp. So we might have to... Uh, daze you instead to put you to the back. And then I think we're okay. Because we're we're at 122. That's almost enough to kill the Clip reflect Reflector. Certainly, if we can get rid of this Clip Defender, we're fine. And then I think we just vent at the bottom here. So we go like this. And that backliner is really easy to kill. So, melee weakness... Okay. We can Soul Crushing Guilt this guy to the back. Definitely a possibility. So we give you extra rage. 134. If we soul crushing, this guy will make it to the pyre. If we just soul crushing the backliner though, In fact, uh, if we do this, you're dying. Fortify. Shelter. Shelter. Soul Crushing Guilt, the backliner. And he'll just die to the pyre. Um, pop this guy. Okay. Okay. It's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, big vent on the bottom at the end. And I think we're in the clear now. Yeah, we're good. I guess we might as well do this. Yeah. 
So no flying kill, but we are gonna just crush here. Apex Imp is doing just way too much damage. There's way too much sustain on everybody. And we're good. Okay. Oh, dog. That was intense. But we managed it in the end. With a couple of replays. And with that... This is Nate. You can also call me Nathan. Please never call me Nathaniel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.